What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing a meta team for rank in Regulation F. Now, this will be my first rank video for Regulation F, so I'm super excited to actually be doing this and uh, seeing what Pokemon fit in the meta and what is being played. But this team features some Regulation E Pokemon alongside with two Regulation F Pokemon in Cinderwar and Raging Bolt. I know I showcased them on the channel already, but again, I just want to reiterate, I want to bring you guys a meta team to help you guys push high ranks in Master Tier. So yeah, use this team, rock out Regulation F, get some wins. Didn't want to bring you guys a gimmicky team, especially on the first day of Regulation F, that you're just going to lose with. So bring you guys a banger. Bringing you guys a banger. But Incineroar is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview from Regulation F. You're going to be seeing this Pokemon a ton. It's got Intimidate with the Citrus Berry, Rocket Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, Knock Off, and Fake Out. Arguably the best moveset for Incineroar. This team also features Urshifu with Tornadus, Fluttermane, and Rollaboom. Four Regulation E Pokemon that you guys seen plenty of times. And the final Pokemon is going to be Raging Bolt. Now, Raging Bolt, I absolutely love, and I think you're going to be seeing this Pokemon a good bit on the rank scene. It's got Protosynthesis with the leftovers as item, Rock and Protect, Thunderclap, Calm Mind for setup, and Dragon Pulse for its final move. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's content, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any of my ranked videos. Without further ado, let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Incineroar and Raging Bolt team. I'm super excited back on the rank ladder, even though the casual ladder was fun for some time. But obviously, once rank comes out, we're going to be playing ranked over casual all day long. But we're hopping into our first match here. Let's see who we are going up against. We're going up against a very similar team. That's actually hilarious. Like I said, this team is a very strong team. We're going up against a very similar team with Incineroar and Raging Bolt, just like us. They also have Urshifu, just like us. Fluttermane, just like us. Then they got Whimscott. And Whimscott's very similar to Tornadus, but I like Tornadus, especially for weather control. They also have uh, Ogrepan as their final Pokemon. And we have Rillaboom, which is a grass type. So again, very similar team. That's kind of funny. First match on the rank ladder for Regulation F. And we're going to see that. So um, I do believe they're going to lead like Incineroar, which isn't bad. I could just go straight into you, which wouldn't be bad. I mean, they can fake me out. They can really get effort that way. I mean, I could go Fluttermane, which wouldn't be a bad lead. Or I could maybe just go Tornadus to try to get some Tailwind support here. And you know what? I think that's going to be great. So I'm going to go Tornadus here, and I'm also going to go in with Specs Fluttermane. Yeah, I like Specs Fluttermane, especially for a lead here. I feel like Fluttermane gets work onto a lot of Pokemon. So I like it as lead, and eventually we can swap it out. We're going to bring Raging Bolt in the back end. And last but not least, do we go Incineroar, or do we go in with Urshan? I kind of like Incineroar, right? Incineroar is just solid. You can't go wrong with Incineroar, or I can go in with Rillaboom, or Urshu. They're all so good options, but regulation depths here. Let's use a little bit of Incineroar, so let's lock it in. First match coming at you guys. Would love to grab you guys. Win. Would absolutely love to get you guys over here in match number one. Be awesome. It'd be a dope little, dope little start to the regulation F rank videos. But yeah, don't worry. I know we didn't showcase every single Pokemon in regulation F format. I did a lot. I think I did like maybe 30. Nah, no way 30. Maybe like 20 Pokemon. We just showcased Sceptile the other day, and I'll definitely get back to uh, showcasing all the videos. So don't worry, we're still going to be using some fun off-meta teams and rocking out with some cool Pokemon that I haven't showcased yet. Like Lapras. Gotta showcase Lapras very soon. But who'd they end up leading here? It is Ogre Pond and Whimsicott. So that's not that's not bad at all. I don't mind that. Um, I could go into a Bleak Wind Storm turn one, and I'm kind of feeling that. Two Grass-type Pokemons on the field. We can always set up Tailwind after. They might set up Tailwind this turn. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to pop a Gleam. Yeah, we might as well choose Spec Gleam. We might as well just go Hyper Offensive here early on. Yeah, I'm cool with that. But, yo, the Rank Ladder's a total different... It's totally different than Cash Ladder. Game-wise, people play so much better. So I'm actually super excited to just start grinding Rank again. But he ends up withdrawing Ogre Pond to the one. And I wonder where you're going to go into. Maybe in Sidor? No, Fluttermane's going to come out here on their side. I don't mind that at all. And they're going to go for a Taunt. Wow. So big time Taunt comes out here. I wasn't expecting to go for a Taunt. Tailwind was more so the play I thought they were going to go for. And I ended up dropping a Dazzling Gleam. That's fine because Bleak Wind Storm land. So they don't get off Tailwind. We don't get off Tailwind. I'm, I'm really cool with that. And we get a Speed Drop on Fluttermane. So that's a hot start for us. That's a real good start. They lovely start for us. 
They're probably not gonna throw back out Ogapon. That's definitely not the play. And I think we can just win this battle no problem, right? I think we just spam attacks. We have the fast Pokemon on the field and Raging Bolt comes out here. You do have Thunderclap, which is a little scary. I could terror you in the ghost. I could terror you in the ghost. Um, I could swap you as well. I could definitely swap you into Incineroar if I want to. Because you could be going for a Thunderclap. I'm going to save my Incineroar. I'm going to actually swap you. I do have Focus Ash. I do have Focus Ash. I don't want to bring out Incineroar until Ogre Pond is on the field because that's their only physical attacker. But from here, it just seems like we Gleam and we Bleak Wind Storm. I mean, we have Focus Ash. We might as well use it. We might as well use it. Daz and Gleam into Bleak Wind Storm. They're going to thrash slides of Raging Bolt. That's totally fine. So yeah, we got Focus Ash. I can see Thunderclap coming into that slot. Again, I don't mind that too much. And they're going to Terrasalize into a Fairy type. So they're going straight Fairy. Maybe we can get a speed drop on him. That could be pretty big. And just go from there. So I'm not worried about Fluttermane, who might protect, right? No, just stays on the field. Gleam's going to finish it off. Okay, cool. I like that. Can we get a speed drop onto this thing? That'd be massive. So yeah, we're just sticking with the Bleak Wind Storms. Big time damage. We love it. And we get the speed drop onto it. Mwah. Beautiful. He ends up going for the Calm Mind Boost. Can Dazzling KO now? Might not be able to. Might have to Terrasalize. I might have to Terrasalize Fluttermane here. I definitely want to swap into what's it called, though. I definitely want to swap into uh, Incineroar here. I could just double attack. I could just go bleak. We still have Sash, which is beautiful. They could go for Thunderclap, but I have Sash. Did we just attack? Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I'm overthinking this. Let's just attack. Let's just straight up attack. Thunderclap comes out here. We have Sash. Beautiful. Can we Sash up? And I doubt they double down into him. And then this turn we can go for Dash and Gleam. Finish off Rage and Bolt. Awesome. So it ended up finishing it off. And Bleak Wind Storm should come out here and finish this game. So do we sweep and mash number one? As long as we land on this Bleak Wind Storm. Wow. Hot start for us on the rank ladder. Just using Flutter Mate and Tornadus. Having Rage Bolt and Cinnamon in the back end. We'll definitely try to rock it out with them in match number two. But want to know to get things started. Be honest, you guys only thought I was good on the casual ladder. We're sitting 1-0, and we're already in Ultra Bolt here. I ranked up first match. Pretty cool. But now we're going up against an Archer Ludon squad. Not going to lie, Archer Ludon, very annoying. I was going to use an Archer Ludon squad in today's video for the first battle rank, but I wanted to use Raging Bolt. I like Raging Bolt a little bit more, but Archer Ludon, top tier Pokemon. And I think this is a team that I was going to use. This might have been a team I was going to use, or it was going to be a Raging Bolt team. Just like that, but with Archer Ludon swap for Raging Bolt. But still, top tier team coming at us. How should we play this one? I could go into Raging Bolt of my own and maybe just set up a Calm Mind. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I like our special attacks here, especially up against a few of their Pokemon. So I'm going to go Raging Bolt here for the lead. I like it for the lead. Um, they do have a few fake out users, but you know what? I'm just going to go into you. So bang, bang. Those two Pokemon come in here and we will go into... Incineroar just because they have a decent amount of physical attackers and last but not least something to kind of get after that Arch Ludon. That would either be Fluttermane or my Urshifu. Only problem with Urshifu is if they go into Willowboom. Willowboom a little bit of threat so I might just go into Fluttermane instead. Yeah I like Fluttermane especially with your speed stat should be rather high. Yeah 180. I love it. I love it so we're locking this in. We are locking this in. 1-0 on the rank ladder. Would love to go 2-0, especially up against the Archer Ludon team. Just so powerful, right? Just so powerful. But yeah, rank, different animal. Totally different animal. I love playing on the rank ladder, though. It makes you think more. A like casual ladder, I, I kind of like to just like spam moves and get after it. But I feel like on this one, we're kind of just like ready to get after it. But they're going to end up going into Urshifu here. Now, Urshifu, chances are... It probably only has like water terror type, so it could thunderclap into it. So I'm gonna make a hard read that it protects or swaps. So from here, I'm just going to go into a nice little calm mind setup. And I'm just gonna bleak wind storm across the board here. Yep, there's the swap. So good call for us. We don't go into the thunderclap and just 
reach right now. They're gonna end up going into Landers. It's actually perfect. It's actually really good for us. He ends up setting up a Tailwind too. So now I get off a free attack and I can set up Tailwind next turn. Beautiful. So Bleak Windstorm's gonna fly here. Who dodged it? Both of them dodged it. Both of them dodged it. Awesome. Just what I wanted. Both Pokemon dodged it. But I do set up a Calm Mind. Calm Mind out and about. Beautiful. So I'm weak to ground moves with Raging Bolt. So this might be a good turn for us to actually Terrestrialize into Fairy. Maybe we should just attack you, right? Do I Tailwind up or do I Bleak Wind Storm? Because what's your speed, to be honest with you? What is your speed? 105. You're not going to outspeed regardless. The only problem would be if they double down into Tornadus. Um, I'm still going to set up the Tailwind. Just in case they double down, I really don't want to don't want to waste it there. But I really wish. Like, come on. I miss both Bleak Wind Storms. At least hit one of the Pokemon. I make a great call and I get punished by it by missing attacks. Come on now. Come on now. But we get the combine boost. We're plus one special defense, plus one on defense, or a special attack now. And I get to go into a lovely Bleak Wind Storm. The Sand Seer Storm comes out here. Does not affect you. And I am now Fairy type, so I'm able to surf pretty well. Lovely. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly here, and I'm just gonna Thunderclap that thing next turn, probably. Yeah, you are definitely getting Thunderclap next turn. So Bleak Wind Storm flies through here. Or not Bleak Wind Storm, Dragon Pulse. That's some big time damage. I get leftovers up here. Leftovers. Lovely. So leftovers popping. Um, from here, I'm just gonna go for a Thunderclap and Tornadus, and then just pop a Bleak Wind Storm across the board. Cool. I think my Tornadus should outspeed their Tornadus. I'm thinking it should be really good. It's it's definitely going to outspeed the landers. But we're dropping a nice little thunderclap here. Going after the Tornadus. And hopefully he doesn't think I'm going for it, right? Hopefully he doesn't think I'm going for it. And cool. Thunderclap comes out here and we bring this thing down to Sash. Not even Sash, but we're outspeeding so there's another kill. The Raging Bolt, hot start from us. Now they're forced to bring back out Urshifu. Now here's the problem with them. Urshifu's terror type is probably one right it's probably straight up one now do i make another read of that thing maybe detecting or it could be choice band because the thing is hmm, i don't think it's choice band they hard swap quick that's the thing they could be choice band because they hard swap instead of protecting that turn really tough it's really tough for us so now out comes urshfu and who else is coming out here let's see Rillaboom. Okay, so Rillaboom. A little bit of a threat. They do have Fake Out, so I might as well just protect this turn, right? I have a great Fairy Terror type on my hands. And yeah, just protecting is just going to be a smart play for us. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to uh, pop a Bleak Wind Storm. So really good start for us right now. And we'll see what they want to do here. We'll see what they want to do here. Thank God they didn't bring Archer Loot on. Archer Loot on is just such a huge threat. We're going to see a big time terror come out, probably from Urshfu more so than anything. Yeah. And he's just going to go into straight water. No, Ghost. So why didn't you just do that turn one? I'm confused. So if you had Ghost terror type this whole time, why didn't you just do that turn one? You would have you would have made this match a lot closer. Like now you're in a, now you're in a hole here. But he ends up going for the fake out into that slot. He's probably going to go into like certain strikes, but I should be able to soak up a certain strikes, right? Can you soak this up? Oh, I think you do. I think you do, right? All day. All day. So that's a big time soak up. That's a big time soak up. And their Tailwind should end this turn, making my Raging Bolt faster. So he can't just Aqua Jet me now. Bleak Wind Storm's going to fly. And who's dodging it? Rillaboom dodges it? That's what I wanted. Just what I wanted. Rillaboom dodges it. You could go for Grassy Glide, but uh, Thunderclap is going to outspeed. You might be Choice Band. You might be Choice Band here. I get back a ton of HP. I wish I could protect here. I would just get back some HP. But their Tailwind is gone. So from here, we're just gonna go into another Thunderclap, into the Urshfu slot, and then drop another Bleak Wind Storm. So just keep the pressure, keep attacking, getting after it that way. Thunderclap's gonna fly, and that's a big time KO. Yo, Raging Bolt match number two. Woo! We love it, we love it. And we might be able to sweep. If we would if we would have landed our uh, Bleak Wind Storms earlier, I missed three of them today. We would have been easily able to sweep. But Raging Bolt dies out there. There goes my sweet man. Come on, dude. We're killing it on the rank ladder. Lighting it up. Lighting it up. Quick and storm KO and no problem. Who and 
2 and 0, only lost one Pokemon, just dominating on the rank ladder to get things started. I believe if we win this next match, we will be 3 and 0 and in master tier in 3 battles. That would be awesome. That would be such a solid way to start off the recordings for rank regulation F. But we are killing it. We're absolutely lighting it up on the rank ladder today. First match, we just used Fluttermane and Tornadus. And then second match, we just used Tornadus and Raging Bolt. We made a great call, thinking that the Urshu was going to swap out or protect. They did. They ended up swapping out. And we got the Calm Mind boost and just started rolling out from there. But we're hopping into our third and final match for today's video. And against Arch Luton today. I can tell what the meta is already. It's Incineroar with Regulation F and then, one, and then like another Regulation uh, F Pokemon. Or say it's Incineroar with Regulation E Pokemon, and then like one other Regulation F Pokemon. Right? Our team's exactly that. Both teams that we burst today, or actually all three teams that we burst today, are exactly that. So let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just see. But um, Archaludon's here, and Archaludon's totally scary. I don't like Archaludon at all. I don't like Versnet. I like using it. I don't like Versnet. But um, I think they're gonna need some sort of like Tornadus lead right they do have urshfu i think i have to lead tornadus yet again because tornadus is just so strong and i could lead it with raging bolt again i honestly really like that if they end up going into a pokemon like um like landorus here we should be fine but i just like this lead here i like this lead a lot so i'm gonna go into both of these guys i am going to bring urshfu in the back end just for a bit more crits and then i could go into I could go into Incineroar, or I could go into Fluttermane or Rillaboom. And I kind of like Fluttermane or Rillaboom a bit more here, considering Fluttermane has a choice specs, can't be hit by Fake Out, can't be neutralized by Intimidate. But Rillaboom has that first turn priority with Grass Guy, which is good. But I just think Fluttermane's the play. I really do, because again, Archerludon's more of the Pokemon that scare me on this team. So if I go into a special attacker, somebody that won't be affected by stamina defense boosts, we can really get one. Obviously, this that thing probably has a soul best, but still. I just like it a lot. I just like it a lot. But we're 2-0. We're 2-0. Looking to go 3-0 for you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, like it up. Subscribe to the channel. But they end up dropping Urshfu here. And this is the same leads as last game. So honestly, I think I do the same thing, right? You're protecting. You're swapping. Unless this is the same opponent, that'd be really weird. But from here, I just drop a Bleak Wind Storm turn 1 instead of setting up the Tailwind. And that's something I've been really liking to do as of recently. I've been loving setting up or hitting Bleak Wind Storm and allowing them to set up Tailwind and then we set up Tailwind. It just seems to work so much better for me. But if they do have Taunt, that could screw me over. But I really like it. But they're going to end up Tarrasalize in Tornado. You're not swapping the Urshfu or anything? What are you doing here? That's Tarrasalize to Tornadus. It's a steal. Please show me you're just protecting the Urshfu. You have to be protecting the Urshfu. Okay, cool. Protect over Detect. A little weird. It ends up going into a steel terror type, and you taunt me. You outspeed me anyway. Good thing I'm attacking. Good thing I'm just straight up attacking. So maybe we get a speed drop onto him. And we'll start rolling out with this calm mind boost. The Bleak Wind Storm doing a little bit of damage. They're probably gonna set up a tailwind very soon. And make a hard read on that protect. That question is, do they swap that thing or do we go into Thunderclap? That's the real question now. That is the question at hand. So I could end up swapping you into maybe like Urshfu. Um, don't really want to do that. Yeah, I kind of I want to swap, but at the same time I don't want to because then the, my back end Pokemon take damage. But from here, I think just a protect is. Oh, I can't protect. I was gonna say protect would be a smart move, but I guess we just go Bleak Wind Storm. And do we Thunderclap? Do we really think they have Landorus in the back end? Even if they do swap into Landorus, Thunderclap's just going to miss. I'm going to go into Thunderclap in this slot. Don't swap the Urshfu. Should have made the read, man. I should have made the read. Ah, oh, man. That was a pretty simple read. I just didn't want to get ahead of myself. There's the Lando. So Rain Dance comes out and about. That's that's not a bad turn. As long as this Bleak Wind Storm lands. It's not a bad turn because I still have Terror type. I'm Calm Mind Boost it. And I can double down the Lando because I'm not too scared of the, uh, of the Tornadus, right? I'm definitely not too scared of this one, honest. So from here, drop another Bleak Wind Storm to Rasalize Dragon Pulse. Yeah, I should have. I knew I should have just uh, attacked the uh, the Tornadus, but nothing would have worked there, to be honest. Because if I was going to attack the Tornadus and make that read, I was going to go into Thunderclap, and Thunderclap's pretty much a sucker punch. 
the opponent has to be attacking you for in order for it to work. So, so it wouldn't have worked anyway. Pop the rain dance. Okay, I'm cool with that. So I can't tailwind just yet. They have speed on me, but I can thrasslize reading a Sandseer Storm coming in here. Enchant start, that's what's happening. Sandseer Storm, Bleak Wind Storm. We can soak that up all day. So I'm just gonna hit that Terra button. Got some moves, and this is this is kind of turning out how the first, the second match did, right? He ends up just protecting you. Okay, that's that, that's not that big of a deal for me. My taunt actually ends soon, and is this their first time setting up a Tailwind? Was that their second time? Is my taunt gone? I should have checked if my taunt was gone. And taunt might be gone. It might be gone. There's the taunt. So the taunt's gone. Are they? They're probably just gonna taunt me again, correct? I could protect, get rid of the tornadoes, and then set up a tailwind. That wouldn't be a bad call. As long as Dragon Pulse can KO, which I think it could. Huh. Or should I just attack? I'm just gonna attack here. Double down in this slot. Yeah, he's taunting me regardless. I was gonna protect and just take out him, but I think this thing goes for a sludge bomb. Correct? Yeah, and we should be able to soak. We're plus one on that special defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly here. It does KO you. Dragon Pulse is gonna fly over. Finish off you. And now we're sitting here with Urshi Ursh. Urshi Ursh is a little bit of a problem. Um, because I do have Thunderclap. They don't have Terror, which is great. And that's a great Pokemon for the back end. But Dragon Pulse is gonna fly here. Finish off you. We've just been killing it so far. Especially our leads have just been perfect. And our reads our leads and reads in the early game have been great. The Raging Bolt now gets back some HP. We get to see who their final Pokemon is, because we know one of them's our food, we do not know the last one. And Ah. Oh no, Archie Arch. Not Archie Arch in the rain. Archie Arch is a problem. Um. Oh my lord, I would love to just set up the sunny day. Do I swap? Do I swap you into like you? Cause you in the rain, you you're pretty good. How many turns of tailwind do they have left? That's the real question. They have. I think I might just swap. I'm thinking of just swapping and protecting you. But I think like the electro shot or like flash cannon comes in here and then you just protect the Urshfu, right? That, again, that, that 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 makes sense, right? They're gonna protect Urshfu and then go into like a flash cannon or something. And they don't. They just don't. Well, that hurt. Because we might have just lost this match for us, over reading stuff. I think I just did. But it's weird how they wouldn't protect there, right? I think I've just been reading them too much. And now they're just going to electro shot and pick up the KO here? Yeah. That was terrible on my end. Real bad on my end. But now I can Tailwind, which is good. I can Tailwind and get off the moves. But yeah, that was really bad call on our end. But yeah, it really surprised me. I would I would think they would protect that Urshu there. I would I would think. Let me know in the comment section down below what I what I did wrong there. You guys think I made too many reads? You think I should have just started attacking at that point? Yeah, I mean if Urshu dies there, like if I go for Thunderclap there, Urshu would die. We would be sitting in a better position. But from here, um, they have one turn left in tail and one turn left in rain as well. Um. I swear it takes some speed and I just go into Dazz and Gleam. This is rough because I know they're going to protect the Earth through this turn. I know this is the turn where they protect the Earth through and they go into what's called. And they just KO my Flutter main. No, they don't. Okay, so Tailwind comes out and about. We should be able to KO with this. With this Dazz and Gleam. The Earth through right? 
Yeah, Urshfu's going in. I don't see us winning this match, though, because he's just going to flash kind of KO my Flutter main. And and it's looking rough. Unless you don't. Unless you don't. But you are, right? You go for Electro Shot. Can he go after my Tornadus? Go after my Tornadus. He might win this match. Go after Tornadus. Go straight after Tornadus. Wait a minute. We're sashed. Awesome. Rain's gone. Rain's gone. And Dazzling Gleam should be able just to finish this thing off, right? It already did half HP. We have Speedy has no first time priority. I got Bleak Wind Storm to deal a little bit more damage if we need it. Hold up. We might have made a mistake, but we might have won it. They just canceled. They just gave it to us. Awesome. Well, we made a terrible mistake in match number three, but it didn't change the outcome. We still won it, and we still went 3-0 on the rank ladder today. Sad news is, we did not make Master Tier. It put us just outside of it. 3-0, high in the Ultra Tier. I promise you guys, in the next video, once we win our first match in rank ladder on the next video, we will be in Master Tier. So, amazing setup. Amazing start for the uh, rank season. Like I said, the scene was phenomenal. Using Raging Bolt and Regulation F. Here's one last look at the team. You got Raging Bolt. You got Incineroar, who I don't even think we used once. We brought it in, I think, two battles, but we just killed it with her lead. But you guys are going to see plenty of Incineroar. You guys probably already have seen plenty of Incineroar. So it's not that big of a deal that I didn't really get to bring it out here today. But Tornado is still a phenomenal lead. We tore up with it today, alongside with Choice Spec Fluttermane. And Raging Bolt was a big star of the show, who I loved using. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.